Where possible on the Royal Canal, the Grand Canal and the Barra Navigation, the lock is operated by a lock keeper who can be contacted by phone and arrangements made to facilitate your boat passage. Should you wish to operate locks yourself, here's a simple guide. You will need a lock key, which are available to permit holders from Waterways Ireland. On approach to the lock, the boater should pull into the waiting jetty and tie off to allow a crew member to disembark to operate the lock. They will need to bring a boat hook and lock key with them. It is preferable that everyone passing through a lock is on deck and wearing a life jacket. The boat should then enter into the lock and use the boat hook to pass up the mooring ropes to a crew member to place around a mooring bollard and pass them back to the boater to adjust with the rising water levels. Begin closing the lock gates by physically pushing the lock gate, ensuring the mitred edges meet cleanly. Use the handrail on the footboards on the closed lock gates to cross over to the other side to close the second gate. Use the lock key to close down the sluices on the lower lock gates. Then, moving to the side of the boat on which the boat is moored, raise the land rack. Open it gently a little at a time. Move to the other side and when the turbulence has eased off, open the land racks on the second rack. The boat will rise and the mooring ropes should be adjusted accordingly. When the water has reached equilibrium on both sides of the lock, the gates can be opened by pushing the lock gates back into position. The lock should always be left with the breast gates closed and the deep gates open, unless the craft is waiting to enter the full chamber. Let off the mooring ropes and motor slowly out of the chamber. The crew member can re-embark in the chamber or the craft can pull into the waiting jetty and take them back on board.